After four years as the chief conductor of the Bass National Orchestra, I have brought a lot of American music to this orchestra. And it is very important to me personally as an American conductor to take the music of my country and to take it around. But I try to personally focus not on composers who are so well known, people like Bernstein, Aaron Copeland. These composers are amazing, no question. But there are so many other composers who are completely, not only unknown uh, in the world at large, but also in America. And so for this disc, we decided we were going to go with four composers who represent a diversity of American musical life. In the beginning, we have Charles Loeffler, a composer who wasn't even born in America, but immigrated to the United States and became an American. This has a resonance with me personally because as a person who was not from America but came to America with my family and became an American, it is a story which I think embodies exactly what it is that I think the American project is about. Being American is not about being from that country, it's about being with the ideas of an American. And that is always changing, but in principle, it is about openness in my opinion. And Charles Lofer came to the United States and tried to contribute to the musical life of the uh, United States of America and also was interested in making new developments where the sort of rigorous ideas of musical life in Europe, which were slightly stifling to him at times, he could experiment. And the work that we recorded uh, is a great experiment of his in one way and one way specifically. And that is that he took an instrument, which is not commonly found in the orchestra, and put it right at the center of a big romantic orchestral landscape. And that's the viola d'amore. And this instrument is a beautiful, resonant, delicate instrument that is really mostly only heard in uh, Baroque music. And he found a way to incorporate this instrument beautifully as the central protagonist of an orchestral tone poem. And this is performed by our wonderful principal violist, Delphine de Puy, who learned the instrument specifically for this recording. And I think you will find it not only beautiful, but absolutely enchanting. Perhaps the viola d'amore will make you fall in love. <laughs> On the other side of the disc, we have three composers who represent three other ideas of American musical life. In one corner, we have Carl Ruggles, a composer who I've loved for the longest time. A very, very intellectual, very severe, very precise composer using the orchestra as this massive million ton block. It's like looking at a massive alpine-like mountain that is immovable. The sonic weight of the orchestra in this Evocations for Orchestra is absolutely staggering. It is panoramic and full of sonic weight that is just blisteringly heavy. And it's an incredible piece of music. And it, we felt when we were recording it that it was so heavy, even though it's so short. And I think this is a composer who was very, very well respected over the history of American music making and in fact was very influential in a lot of composers. On the opposite side, we have Howard Hansen. And on this disc, we have the world premiere recording of Before the Dawn. And Howard Hansen is a composer who I think really is a composer who lives in the light. He was very much more into the Hollywood and stereotypical Americana type of style. A lot of glitz, a lot of bamboozling and a lot of uh, real big fireworks and big technicolor spectacular tor type of orchestral playing. But Howard Hansen was no less important a composer, major educator at the Eastman School of Music, conductor, and his influence on composers and the American musical life is absolutely impossible to measure. It is so critical that we understand and we presented his music against Carl Ruggles because they represent two completely different aesthetics. 
And then in the middle, you have a composer like Henry Cowell. And this is a composer who has almost all but been forgotten in the United States and the world at large. It is impossible to describe how important this composer is. First off, loved by people like Charles Ives, Edgar Varese, Stravinsky, Stockhausen. So important that he invented a way of writing sound and using pitches that Bartok found so interesting that he asked him for permission to use it. And actually, that system is the foundation of much of Bartok's music, a system that was devised by Henry Cow. And Henry Cow was a kind of go-between guy. He was responsible for so many intellectual composers, so many creative people coming together. And at the same time, he was so interested in other people. He was going to India, South African instruments, learning about tabla, learning about gamelan music, and even teaching ethnomusicology, a relatively new idea in the United States. And he found a way to incorporate all of that. And I think in his variations for orchestra, one can feel all of these various um, aesthetics and ideas that he was interested in. And it's a real shame that we don't remember his music at all because he was so important and influential. And frankly, it was just because he was born at the wrong time. He was born at a time in which the world just simply wouldn't accept him for who he was. And he suffered very much the same fate that uh, many, many other composers and writers uh, suffered and really could never really overcome it because his definition of self were, was never really allowed to be fully expressed and embraced by the people around him. And that's a shame. And I think that that's one of the reasons also why I take it very personally to put his music onto this disc because I think that we need to have a little bit of a resurgence of some Henry Cowell in our lives. And I hope you'll join me in my enthusiasm, not only for him, but all the other composers on this amazing disc and the amazing performances that the Bass National Orchestra have provided. Thank you.